slow release. Uh, we plan to do one for Big Rock Radio in the fall. Um, so that's plenty of details to, to get together. And then, um, yeah, following that, once we kind of get both of those things uh, hammered out, we'll start start prepping for the, the, the mini tours in 2019, probably, probably in the warmer months so we don't have to deal with the weather. I don't blame you, especially uh, especially being from uh, Denver as you are. I'm I'm from upstate New York, so I have a a little bit of familiarity with that uh, that uncomfortable <laughs> thing known as winter. But uh, want to be sure and mention to you a couple of things. First off, once you're on our show, you're part of the family, so we'll always be here for you. We'll help you uh, promote, do whatever we can. I have a Facebook page. You can find just uh, just search Facebook for the David Bowers Awards. I have a group music page, and that is there for guests on the show to post whatever they want their uh, their schedule their new music releases post their videos whatever you want to share with people there's one more place for you put it on your uh, put it on your PR list and uh, you can go ahead post whatever you want from your music there and uh, we'll uh, we'll be happy to help you spread the word and uh, want to take this moment to thank you for coming by and sharing your time in music with us and uh, tell everyone that uh, not only on Facebook, you can find them at uh, www.lovestallionrocks.com. And uh, you can also just Google them at Love Stallion. The, uh, the name of the album, tell them the name of the album again, Aaron. It's called Unforgettable Ride. And we're going to play. We're going to play another track off of that album right now. And before we do, tell us a little bit more about Slow Release. Uh, so Slow Release is definitely that uh, double entendre kind of kiss kiss vibe title. But uh, yeah, you know, it's it's a um, it's a really fun song, uh, riff driven, kind of that Wall of Harmonies vibe you get from Halen and Leopard. But just kind of that slow release into the weekend, but also about finding love and um, just kind of the ramp up to the uh, proverbial climax of the evening. <laughs> gotcha. Sounds great. Aaron, best to you and all the guys. Be sure to keep in touch. Let us know what's going on because we'd like to follow your careers and, and help you promote it too if we can. We look forward to seeing you. If you get down to Arizona or Florida, be sure and look us up. We'd love to see you in person. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Aaron. The band is Love Stallion. You're going to be hearing more from them. And right now you're going to hear Slow Release.
This is David Martinez. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I know I'm listening to the David Bowers Awards on Block Talk Radio. There you have it. Slow release. That's Love Stallion right here on the David Bowers Awards, where we have our next guest standing by and ready to check in and tell us a little bit about uh, their music and lifestyle over on the other side of the pond. Uh, More guests from over in merry old England, and they join us right after we listen to this first track. They call themselves Fitzsimon and Brogan, and this is Girl in a Gilded Cage. Just a reminder, to help your favorite indie artist get nominated for an independent tone award, all you have to do is send us the name of your favorite indie artist. We'll go over all the submissions from now to the end of October, and from them, we'll select who we'll be sending to the independent tone awards as nominees to be awarded in December. Here's your chance to have your voice heard in the independent tone awards. Send the name of your favorite indie artist to me, David, at thedavidbowers.com. Check out all the categories at theindependenttoneawards.com. And send the name of your favorite indie artist to me, David, at thedavidbowers.com. It's that easy. And your favorite indie artist could be an Independent Tone Awards nominee. There you have it. It's girl in a gilded cage. They call themselves Fitz Simon and Brogan, and they're here to talk with us right now. Come on in and say hello, guys. Hello there. Hey, how you Good doing? Week. Yeah, fine. How are you? Yeah. Uh, we're doing okay, thanks. We're uh, <laughs> we're having a little fun here today. We got off to a shaky start with some weird things happening, but hey, that's all, right. all part of the game. You're Neil, right? That's right. Yeah. And uh, this is the uh, first time a lot of people here in the States have heard of uh, Fitzsimon and Brogan. Tell us a little bit about yeah. your background. Um, yeah, we were both uh, in a band called Pretty Blue Gun. Um, that got a lot of critical uh, acclaim. But unfortunately, our record company ran out of uh, money by the time it came to release our stuff. Ouch. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, it was one of those. Um, and we get airplay on national radio and everything, so that was great. Um, but then when that, uh, we actually, like, um, we, we sued the record company for restraint of trade, and that took about um, 16 months to get away from them. So since then, we've been work, working, just the two of us. Uh, uh, B does all the vocals, uh, and I, I write the stuff and play guitar. And... Uh, yeah, like a songwriting, like artists and the production team. Yeah, that's what we've been doing. Um, and, you had... Uh, uh, go on. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, the uh, two albums that you released, in addition to some critical acclaim, you had some uh, some pretty heavy help on those albums. Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, well, they were produced by um, Pat Collier, uh, mm-hmm. who produced uh, Katrina and the Waves, Walking on Sunshine. Uh, and we were big fans of him. He, 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 I mean, he produced people like uh, Belinda Carlisle, Voice of the Beehive. Uh, so I was a fan of his. And um, the record company actually, uh, got, you know, paired us up and uh, we've been working with him ever since. Uh, and he does all of our stuff now. So, yeah. And uh, we had members of the Art of Noise playing on it. Um the keyboard player, the Moody Blues. Right. Yeah, Dave Bronze. Uh, Dave Bronze, who uh, played with Eric Clapton, his bass player. Right. They, they, were, you know, they got those in to work with us as well. So, yeah, that was great. Yeah, that must, how, how is it working with those guys? I mean, you're, you're working with, uh, with uh, some people from different groups, all, you know, all recognized yeah. names and successful, and here you yeah. come along. And you got to jump in and fit in with them. How, how's like? How's that work for you? Uh, well, yeah, it was quite nerve wracking to be quite honest with you, because it was a weird thing. We went from like doing demos at home in our bedroom, and um, about six to eight weeks later, we were in a studio with all those people we just talked about. So it, it right. was a bit. Um, I thought we were going to be discovered, you know, and slung out after the first couple of days, <laughs> but um, <laughs> but it, but. Um, the um, the keyboard player from the uh, Moody Blues, Bias Bashell, he wrote that I've got the music in me for Kiki D. Right. Um, he was playing, uh, because I was the leader of the group, it, uh, they voted, the other band members, that um, I should be the one to go in and tell him we didn't like what he was playing because I was the leader of the band. Ah, uh, the so joys like, of being the leader. <laughs> yeah, I know. So they, they, they like shoved me through the door and I got me like, you know, the wrong end of the stick. And... Um, I, but he was fine about it, to be quite honest. And, uh, you know, I realised after a while, uh, you do get kind of used to it. But I was talking to Dave Bronze and I was like making him a coffee in the kitchen in this studio. And I just said to him, some motorcycle courier came in with some tickets for him. And I was... Uh-huh. We lose you, Neil. I, Neil, I, I think we've lost right, the then. connection. Oh, Neil. Said, oh um, Neil, there you are. Okay, yeah, we lost you there for a second. Neil, hello. Yeah, the audio. We're we're losing the phone connection well, you there. You know, we we do we we do have a connection between here and the London area, and sometimes it can get a little you know a little crazy, and yeah, uh, so. Uh, Neil, I don't know if you can hear us, but we've lost you, and hopefully we can get you back here again. Yeah, well, uh, well, the connection, yeah, I, the connection just ended there, so I imagine he's going to try and call us back.